Jesus freak here. There are many churches that place their traditions on an equal level or even above the authority that they give to Scripture. Some will even go so far as to say there's a different number of books. Be it 65 or 74. Just not the proper 66 in their scriptures. In olden days, in the New Testament period, there's a couple times where Rome is referred to as Babylon. Now, I'm not going to go on and say, you know, I think that's what this verse means or that verse means in the Apocalypse of John, because I don't think we can truly understand the Apocalypse of John for what it is. But in the same sense, as far as the Church of Rome, the Churches of the East, and any other church which does not place as their prime authority the beginning and end of their authority. A 66 book Bible I think the best thing that can be said is what I say about the Church of Rome which does indeed come from the Apocalypse of John. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. These churches are corrupt to the core. If their traditions are placed on equal footing with Scripture, that means they're putting themselves, their human selves, on an equal footing with God. The most prominent practices of the Church of Rome and the Eastern Churches the worship but not worship of saints and of the Virgin Mary okay 
If it's worship, it's idolatry. And if it's not worship, it's necromancy. Either way, it's evil. Either way, it's forbidden. And either way, it's not for, for a Christian to do. We pray to the Father in the name of the Son. We don't pray to Mary. We don't pray to dead humans. We don't give to anyone that which is due to God. We take nothing on human authority. And this includes this 66 book biblical canon. The voice of God versus the voice of mortal man is clear enough that we can recognize it in the 66 books of Scripture. And we can recognize its clear absence in all pseudo biblical works, such as the Apocrypha or Deutero canon, because there's only one canon in 66 books. Reality is reality. You can say what you think is reality is reality. That doesn't change what's real. The Church of Rome. Is dangerous. To the souls of believers. The Eastern churches are too similar. The only real advantage theologically they have over the Church of Rome is that they don't have a Pope. As the Pope, well, there is the Coptic Orthodox Church, they got a Pope. But anyone who takes the Pope title is inherently going against Scripture because Pope comes from a Latin, a uh, late Greek word meaning father. A title that's inappropriate. For anyone in religious authority. The only father there should be in the church is God.
I'm not talking about literal fathers. You're going to shoot me back with that. I'm talking about father as a title. Take your 66 book Bible and anything that doesn't jive with that run from don't walk run because these churches destroy you Jesus freak out 